Hey everyone, thank you so much for joining us for another episode of Power Platform for Newbies. So we are in the middle of learning a little bit more about Power BI. Our first episode, um, Andre showed me how to um, just create a basic report with the different charts. Um, but today we're gonna learn how to manipulate the data and create relationships between different sets of data. So Andre, thanks for joining me today. Hi Ray, the pleasure is mine. So yeah, on the last episode, we used some NFL data, but we just connected to the to the source and started using some visuals. So we went straight forward. And th uh, right now we're going to uh, use data. U usually we don't use the data as it is. So we need to s perform some spe steps to manipulate the data and check if the relationships are fine. So we're going to do this in this episode. Okay, so uh, I sent you an Excel file. We're still going to be using an Excel file with our data. So to read it, yeah, please show, please show what's in there. So we're going to use sales data. So this is our customer base. Please navigate to the next one, which is which are our products. Those are some products, some territories, and the sales. So if you if you if you notice, we have the product key there, the customer key, and this is how you relate some values from the sales to the customer itself, to the product itself. So this is what we're going to check about the relationships. And about the data manipulation, we're going to check if the, the fields are in the proper format, if we need to add a new uh, column, for example, all of this we're going to check in the data manipulation part. So, okay, so this is this is good. This is the, the data we're going to use. So let's transition over to Power BI, please. All right. Okay, so uh, please, Open the files I sent you. You can click import data from Excel. This time the data is still in Excel again. And this this was the one, yeah. Perfect. Okay, so right, right now, you, yeah, you can select them all. You get to pick what tables you want to, to use in your report. In this case, let's open them all. We have the sales, which relates to customers, relates to products, to territory. So yeah, that's we will need them all. Okay, let's what do I click? Load. Oh. This should take a, uh, a few seconds. Do I X this or leave it? It's going to, to get away eventually, so don't worry. Oh, OK. I think I remember you telling me that Power BI can be a little slow, right? So that's completely normal if it takes some time. Yeah, it depends on the amount of data you're using uh, and depends on, on your machine as well. So mostly when you're going to open Power BI, this takes a, a lot of time. But after this, depends on the data you're using. Okay. okay, so this is what we did in the last uh, episode. We connected to a data source and we started using visuals from there. But this time we're going to take a step back manipulate the data uh, and then we are going to return to this screen. But so to manipulate the data, we will need to transform data. You can click in the middle of the top ribbon. Here. Yeah. OK, so in the left, you can see the tables that we have access to, the, the ones we loaded, the customers, products, sales and territory. And on the right, you can see the steps applied until you get to this state to this current state that's being displayed in the table. So let's go quick, quickly through the steps. So source, please. This is going to be quick. So just me to show you that, oh, this is the file itself. The second one, you navigate it to, to the customers. And then the first row is the header. So we're going to promote headers then. And then the last one is changing types because Power BI interprets what type it should be. Uh, from what, what from each column, depending on the, the first uh, 200 rows, if I'm not wrong. And then we can use this. So if we want to change type, if we're going to add columns, if we're going to filter some values, all of this we can do from this part of Power BI, which is this the Power Query Editor. So all of this is uh, interface based. So if we want to filter, we just filter just like we're going to use in Excel. Some It's really intuitive. Uh, and if we want to add a new column, we can just add column in the in the top. But let's do this for the in the uh, products 
products table. If you transition to the products table first, okay. to navigate it there, please scroll right and let me explain what we're going to do. Tell me when. Okay, there. so this is, this is it, yeah. So we can see that some products, they have an end date defined. This means that they're not active anymore. So they stopped being sold uh, in these, these dates. So we're going to create a new column called status. And based on this value, we're going to, to set this as active or as inactive. So let's create a new column going to the top in the add column. Then we're going to select the second one, custom, co custom column. Yeah. Let's call it status instead of custom. Okay. And now in the formula, we're going to type uh, uh, if lowercase, yeah, and then end date. If you, when you start typing, Power BI is going to help you. So and type uh, type all together and date together. All. Oops, sorry. Okay. Oh, this is it. Yeah, this is your column that we're going to use. If end date uh, space is null, no, no. yep, uh, space, no, just, just, just null. No. Oh, just null, no, not. Just null no and uh, everything lowercase. Power BI is that really matters. Sensible. That matters. Power BI is sensible. Yeah. Uh, then. And then, then we type active covered in, uh, how can I say, double quotes. Yeah, you, yes, awesome. Okay, uh, and then in the end, we type else. Else? Inactive. Just the same, similar to active, but then inactive. That's it, great, great. So let's hit okay, and this should be done. Okay, so oh, cool. Yeah, it calculated automatically based on that column. So this is how we can create new, col new columns. If you just right click on top of any column, you can see a lot of actions that you can do. We're not going to cover them all, but if you want to change the type, if you want to split, replace the value with another one, replace errors, rename, change the order, duplicate, all of this you can do, and this will impact your your data so your data. The, the data that your report is going to be using. Right. One last thing I, I would like to point out for you to notice is that on the right, we have a new step there on the applied steps that's called added custom. If you if you navigate to the last one, the change type, sorry, the, the one above it, the change type, you won't have that column yet because at this step of the process, that column was not added yet. So this is like an incremental steps that you're going to be performing in your in your data, last one is the one that you're going to be used in your power in your in your report. Okay, so once it's done, let's let's hit uh, home in the left, top left, and and hit the first button, close and apply, close and apply. Yeah. Now we just have one extra thing to do, which is checking the relationships, and if everything is okay, we're done, and if not, we're going to to fix it but it's, it should be really fast. So the data is, is there already for us to use if we start using our visuals, but let's co uh, confirm the re relationships first. On the left, you have these three little icons and you should click on the last one in a, in a left column, to in the total left of the oh, screen. this one, okay. Yeah, this one, exactly this one, yeah. If you zoom out, can you zoom out? I think if you, yes, okay. Oh, the territory is not linked. Let's see why. So, territory should be linked with sales. Uh, I, I from our database, each sale is done in a territory. So this is what why we should link them. How do you link them? In this case, some of them started automatically linked because of the column names are exactly the same. So, for example, in products we have product key, and in sales we have product key. So Power BI understood that it's the same column. But in this case, hmm. in sales we have territory key. But in territory, we have only key. So we are going to drag and drop one column on top of the other. So please identify the territory key inside sales. Oh, this one, yes. Please there. drag and drop to, to the key over territory. There? Yeah. 
So you're relate relating these two uh, tables based on this column. We're not going to go deep into the difference of the different types of relationships, but this should be enough for our report yeah. to work. Okay. Okay, so after this, we can use what we learned in, in our first lesson to start plugging some visuals, connecting to the data, and then having a full report about our about our sales. We're not we're okay. not going to cover this so we, because it's going to be really a really long episode, but I think we learn a lot by just showing the Power Query editor, showing what's possible there to uh, add columns, rename columns and everything. And here in the relationships editor, we show how to link the, the tables that should be linked. Yeah, absolutely. That was super easy to do that. And both of those, I think, are very helpful tools for building reports. So thank you for sharing that. You're welcome. It's my pleasure. All right. Well, join us for our next episode. Um, and we will be taking this to another step. So um, more to come on Power BI. And thank you, Andre. Thank you, Ray. See you next time. Bye.